Hello everybody, welcome back to Magical Mask Monday. Today is Monday, October 16th, and we're going to be doing an oracle card reading with Lunology, Ask Your Guides, and the Sacred Forest cards. First, I'm using the facial mask um, uh, by uh, Spa Life. It's illuminating vitamin and candula sugar skull facial mask and it says traditionally orange and yellow sugar skulls represent the sun and the mexican marigold this mask is infused with radiant boosting vitamin c and candula to help encourage a vibrant and even toned complexion all right so i put it on already to save time we're just going to draw a Moonology card, so no matter what phase it lands on, that's what we're meant to hear. I'm going to bring you down while I shuffle these cards, and that way you can see. I hope everybody's weekend was wonderful. I hope everybody got to see the clown collab. The... I and a bunch of other women did with uh, Just Jessica. The videos on my channel. It was a real fun time. Go check out the other girls. I'm not the best at like um, knowing how to put the links to the playlist, so you'd have to go to Just Jessica's. She has it all. They're good at that. I'm not good at that. Sometimes my links are clickable, sometimes they're not, and I don't understand what I do wrong that they don't, they're not always clickable. It's just weird. All right, guides, help me pick a good card for myself and my viewers. All right, got Supermoon. That's pretty cool. Emotions are running high. Well, that happens. All right, there's that. We'll pull these up. Ask your guides. All right, community, spiritual ancestors. That is number three, and I think we got that last week, too. Isn't that weird? Must be something we didn't uh, follow through on, or it needs more work, right? Sacred Forest. I love these cards so much. They're hard to shuffle, though, because they're very thick. All right. They never want to spread out, either. Enchanted Fern Grotto, Refuge, and it's number 16, that's what it looks like. I 
I think we've had that before, too. Isn't that weird? Let's see how these all go together for the week of October 16th. Alright. So, Supermoon. This card suggests that the answer to whatever you're asking is writ large like the silvery full moon set against the velvety night sky. If you're wondering how successful something is going to be, such as a job or relationship, the answer is very. To use common parlance, the answer to your question may well be that it's under your nose. This card is about being larger than life and being special and bursting with energy that you can tune into the world or tune into and work with. Let me read that last part again. This card is about being larger than life and being special and bursting with energy that you can tune in to and work with. You can expect plenty of good things and a positive outcome when this card comes up, but you may find there's a lot of emotion to deal with also. There's also a sense that the opportunities around whatever you're asking about don't come along every day. So take action. The super, the teaching is a super moon is a new or full moon that takes place when the moon is at its closest point to Earth during a monthly orbit, an event known as perigee. If it's a full moon, the moon appears around 14% bigger. This, the moon is known as the queen of emotions. And if you draw the super moon card, regardless of when you do this, you can expect your feelings to be more highly charged. So, see, that ended up being positive. All right. Second card is community, spiritual ancestors. Your spiritual ancestors are gathering around you at this time, holding you in their light and connecting you with your spiritual family here on earth. Your soul is now seeking the kind of love and support that comes from being part of the right community, your people, so to speak. not warning you to feel isolated, not wanting you to feel isolated in any way. Your ancestors hear your soul call and are presently guiding you towards kindred spirits. Understand and realize that you can't achieve your goals alone. Be open to support. You need the soul energizing support of your tribe. Give up any notions you have of going it alone in life and develop the insight and wisdom to recognize your limitations. After all, even Christ picked 12 associates to help him accomplish his mission on earth. Follow your ancestors' directions. It is they who encourage you to join a club, enroll in a course, or sign up for the neighborhood basketball team. You never know whom you'll meet. Your ancestors' message is, open your heart, Feel our presence in your life and be open to your spiritual family here on earth. Okay. That makes a lot of sense. Enchanted Fern Grotto Refuge. This is the time to go within, seek and find your inner refuge. Take time for deliberate de deliberation and reflection. In times of retreat, you can truly hear the voice of your soul. If you've been pushing hard or struggling to keep going, this is the time to be still and nurture your inner world. Draw nourishment from the wellspring within you. Think carefully about decisions you make at this time. If possible, put them off. Now is not a good time to make life-changing choices. Instead, take time to create a foundation for the future. Retreat and reflect on your heart's true desires. Proceed with care and deliberation as you make plans. Listen to your inner guidance. Fern grottos have a feeling of peace as you enter. Many are known to be places where magic resides, perhaps the homes of fairies and elves. Allow the energy of this sacred space to fill you. Know you can be yourself and truly relax. The spirit of the enchanted fern grotto says, Retreat and replenish your inner resources. 
Now is not the time to act, but to incubate your ideas for the future. Be still. The answers are within you. Magic is all around you. That was a great reading, I feel. So in other words, make your plans, gather your tribe, well, go within, make your plans, gather your tribe, and set it in motion, right? All right, well, that was our reading for today, and this mask is done. Feels real nice. I really like these masks. The masks I had before these, I really love. And I'm probably going to uh, get more of them. But these Sugar Skull masks are really nice. I mean, they do make your skin feel nice. So, with that being said, I hope you all have a magical day. And I hope that you all take the time out to do a face mask for yourself. And replenish your skin. Put your feet up and relax. And that is all for today. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.